Hello everyone, this is um, Mr. Fu. Last episode, or previously, I did a prediction for 2022-6092 GCO level chemistry paper. Today, I'll be presenting my prediction for the physics paper, Singapore version of the O level this year. Now, before I begin my prediction, maybe it's good to take a look at what was tested in 2021 last year because it will be a good gauge of what could be tested or what will not be tested. Let me make a disclaimer here. Although these concepts were tested last year, it doesn't mean that they will not be repeated in the paper this year. It could be replicated in paper one or presented in a different manner in paper two, but testing on the same concepts. All right. But we would like to pay more attention to concepts that were never accessed last year. Just like the chemistry paper, I will not be doing a paper one prediction. That will only be more useful after the actual paper came out later. So after the paper two, we will be able to make a better prediction of what could come out for paper one. For example, last year in physics paper two, the concept of Lenz law was not tested, but it was tested in paper one. Likewise, last year in paper two, okay, correct me if I'm wrong so that I can improve. Um, transfer of thermal energy was not tested at all in paper two. Vector and scalar quantity was not tested in last year paper two, but appear in paper one. Vector diagram as well. Mm. And then the concept on hydraulic press was not tested in paper two, but tested in paper one. There were some repeated questions in paper one from the past year paper, as well as thermometric property, thermometer, and also uh, the concept on EM wave and reflection and refraction, electrostatic were all tested in paper one, but not in paper two. Okay. So last year in paper two, what appeared? So let me give a brief summary. We had base quantities and prefixes in the first question followed by calculations of average speed displacement and concept on how average velocity could be zero. Newton's second law of motion and calculations involving weight and acceleration. Concept of terminal velocity, principle of moments and calculation, pressure and use of barometer. Now, other concepts that appear in last year's paper two were difference between transverse and longitudinal wave and related wave equation calculations and drawing of displacement time graph related to wave, lens diagram and definition of focal length, what virtual image is and determination of vocal length from the diagram. Circuit diagram is the most popular question that will definitely appear in every year paper with calculation using V equal IR and calculation of resistance using recidivity, as well as a magnetic field use of Fleming's left-hand rule, calculation of KE, power efficiency, thermal properties of metal, specific latent heat of vaporization and fusion were tested, heating curve, use of equations to relate effect of time on specific latent heat. So instead of calculations, they ask a question on how time has effect on specific latent heat versus vaporization. EMF, what is it? 
and circuit calculations, transformer and use of fuse. So based on last year paper two, uh, the questions were quite standard, uh, not surprising. There were a mix of questions from definitions, calculation, application questions. And some of the questions are similar to the 10 year series question. So students who have completed 10 series and understood the concepts and able to use the correct key terms correctly, then they will do quite well for this paper. Because I have to agree that last year paper for the physics paper two was quite standard and not surprising, okay? Uh, there were no big surprises, but there were there was a growing trend of questions involving students to um, use the data to explain uh, what happened if you do this, comparing data. There were a lot of data comparison inference questions. That was the trend, which is similar to chemistry. Uh, chemistry paper has been emphasizing a lot on data analysis. So physics paper has more of this now. So just pay attention to that data-based questions, not just for section B, the first question, it could appear in other questions as well. Now, so the popular topic tested in last year, paper two were base quantity and prefixes, forces, masses, mass and weight, turning effects of forces, energy and power, pressure, thermal properties of metal, lens and wave, current electricity, DC circuit, practical electricity, part of it, magnetism, electromagnetism, and specifically transformers. So let me do a prediction of what might come out in paper uh, two this year. I want to include one more vector diagram. I suddenly thought of it, yeah. Because it doesn't appear in paper two, although it appears in paper one, I think students need to be prepared for this question in paper two this year. Okay, so these are the hot topics that could be tested. I say could be, so don't blame me if it doesn't come out. Um, they haven't appeared for some time. So uh, concepts are fixed, you see. The learning of outcomes or the objective are fixed. If they don't test these concepts in last year paper, then they have to test this year or in subsequent years. So the list is very long because um, there were many important concepts in physics. Uh. So uh, I have to agree that not much was tested last year. Hence, there will be quite a lot of um, concepts that will be tested this year. So possible topics to focus on are vernier caliper and micrometer screw gauge make sure you know how to uh, read and explain how you get the reading it was in one of the year paper uh, what are different parts of the vernier caliper and micrometer screw gauge and how do you correct for zero error both positive and negative so vernier caliper and micrometer screw gauge they were uh, they were used differently so make sure the candidate know how to use them know how to interpret the result lah. And um, also um, be aware of the precision of the instrument. For example, vernier caliper measure up to 0 0.01 cm. Vernier caliper is only until that. Micrometer screw gauge is up to 0 0.01 mm. So they have different functions. For example, you can use vernier caliper to measure diameter um, <clears throat> of a spear, of a tennis ball or ping pong ball. But for very thin wire, you use micrometer screw gauge. So be sensitive to the size of the metal to be measured so that you can choose the appropriate instrument to do the measurement. Measurable on period. It may not be a standard question like how to measure period of pendulum. No, I don't think they will do that. But they could present it in a different manner like what they presented before, like uh, someone... Um, stand uh, walking up and down the stairs. That could also be a way to measure period and maybe uh, someone doing push up. So there could be many different 
applications in measurement of period. So be flexible. And also you will notice that uh, every year there will be questions related to sports. Maybe last year was not obvious if I'm not wrong, but in previous years, there were many questions related to sports like tennis, badminton, uh, trampoline. In some school paper, I even see yoga to talk about center of gravity, um, maybe swimming. One of the years they have swimming. How, how uh, what happened to the work done on the water as the swimmer um, pushes the water behind, something like that. What is it converted to? Golf. One year it has a question on golf. What is the energy conversion when, um, when a person play golf uh, and also archery? I think so. So yeah, be flexible. There will be, because a lot of uh, sports questions are related and I think more and more uh, Singaporeans are interested in sports and we have many students who are actually in sports CCA. And um, hardly any questions regarding interpretation of graph in kinematics. So take, take note of that, okay? How do you... Uh, determine the displacement from a velocity time graph, how to determine the acceleration, how to describe the graph, what are the terms to be used. Okay, be careful of that. Newton's third or second, or first law. Second law was tested this last year, but just in case it come out, study second law as well, but no third and first law very well. Vector diagram, know how to draw, please. It carries a lot of marks, about three marks. Inertia, density, density, hardly appear last year. So please pay attention to this. Uh, stability, test of equilibrium. So you may be asked, uh, why is this stable? Why is this unstable? Why is it neutral? Please do pay attention to that. Um, why this person doesn't topple, da, 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 okay? Last year was KE. This year, I think will be GP, but could be KE also. Conversion of energy, law of conservation, uh, conversation, cons conservation of energy. Apologize for the typo is conservation of energy and work done. Work done was hardly tested last year as well. Now, pressure calculations include manometer or even pressure of solid, temperature calibration of thermometer and thermometric substances and calculation. Make sure you know how to uh, do calculations related to a thermometer and a thermocouple uh, thermistor. They are all different, so do take note of that, okay? Uh, boys and child's law of gases, okay? And how temperature or volume affect pressure or how pressure is exerted by gas. There was this question that appeared a few times in the past 10 years about why a pressure is exerted in the bubble, something like that. So do read through those questions because it didn't come out last year. It may come out this year, it may. So do study how to phrase it correctly. Okay, I'm not going to go through this here. This is not my objective. Go and find out how temperature, volume will affect the pressure. Okay, what are the key points to take note? Must talk about collision, blah, blah, blah. Okay, transfer of thermal energy. Please pay attention to the three processes, conduction, convection, radiation. There will be application question on that. Light, reflection, refraction this time around will appear in paper two total internal reflection and critical angle. Pay attention to this. Trust me, okay? Uh, lenses also cannot neglect, but I think the emphasis is more on what I written there. EM wave may appear in paper two this time around. It doesn't appear at all in paper two, but uh, EM wave is a very factual topic where you need to memorize the sequence of the electromagnetic wave in terms of wavelength and frequency and the properties of EM wave as well as the users. Uh, one year, it even asks um, the ionizing radiation, something like that. So please know the facts very well, okay? They will come out. Because a certain percentage of the question had to be factual, had to be recall knowledge. So some of it could come from EM wave. Now, sound hardly any question last year. So do pay attention to the calculations involving sound. How do you determine uh, the speed of sound or uh, something related to echo, the graph, okay? Um, 
how sound was propagated, make sure you know how to describe it perfectly well. Ultrasound, range of audibility, pitch and loudness, the graph, how pitch and loudness um, will affect frequency and amplitude respectively and sketch the graph correctly. Electrostatic, electric field, charging conductor by induction or charging by friction for insulator. So make sure you know how is it done for both because there will be a question like this, most likely electrostatic discharge and even practical application of electrostatic. Photocopier came out before, so may or may not come out, but do take note of the principle behind it rather than memorize the exact thing. For this topic, right, electrostatic, you really need to understand and use the keywords appropriately. The understanding is more important. Remember that negative charges move, but not the positive charge. The positive charge are formed due to the movement of negative charge away, okay? Ohm's law, ohmic, non-ohmic conductor. Uh, make sure you know how to sketch the graph for filament length. And why is it non-ohmic conductor? How, how is it non-ohmic in a way? Like something about um, as current increases, more uh, energy is released, more heat energy released, resulting increased resistance, blah, blah, blah. Okay, potential dividers induce Transducer, both LDR and thermistor. Uh. Please pay attention to that. It's not tested a lot last year. Do pay attention to them. Very important. Potential meter, input transducer. They may even appear in your practical as well. C calculate cost of electricity. Not so much last year. Dangers of electricity, including the features like um, how is it a danger like overloading, short circuit, going read out on them. Uh, last year was tested fuse. So you may want to pay attention to other safety features like circuit breaker, earth wire, how does it work with fuse, switch even, where should the switch be placed, life on neutral wire, blah, blah, blah. Magnetization and demagnetization. How do you magnetize or demagnetize magnets? What is hard and soft magnetic material? Temporary permanent magnet or even sketch magnetic field again. Uh, magnetic field pattern, I already say that, forces on beams of charged particles in magnetic field. DC motor, pay attention to that. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So last year was tested a lot of left-hand rule. There was one question on that. Maybe this year they have a right-hand rule and a right-hand grid rule. Lance law, yes. Uh, it was tested, I think, in paper one, not so much in paper two. Do pay attention to this. AC generator, CRO interpretation. Okay. Now, uh, I hope this is not exhaustive. It's just a list of concepts and topics that were not heavily tested or even tested in paper two last year. Um, I'm not saying that the topics that were tested will not be tested, just that they may be presented in a different manner. But if those topics are not tested at all, then you better pay attention to them. Okay, because when they read the paper, they will try to make sure that they do not repeat the same question or even sometimes exact concept. They cannot replicate. So they have to set something different. All right. They will always make reference to the year before to make sure they don't repeat the questions. Okay. Now for paper three, um, these are my popular choices, mechanics, I'm not very sure what will come out because it's very broad. They can have everything, but the skills involved is the same. How do you uh, tabulate your data in the table correctly? How do you draw a graph? Make sure you get the best fit line, your axis label, your uh, <clears throat> spacing of your values. Uh, make sure you have a title of graph. Make sure you draw the gradient, show the gradient, how to do the gradient, how to get a y-intercept, and how to match right, the equation of the straight line, for example, to the gradient and y-intercept to find the unknown variables or find the controlled variables, rather. Okay, so the skills involved will be the same, but please read the instruction very carefully and know what to do and what to measure. What is the independent, dependent, controlled variables, all right? Thermal properties, maybe last year they came out a question that is about heating and relate that to electricity. I don't think they will do the same thing, but it could be a question of thermal properties. Wave, light, or sound could be tested 
one of last I think they talk about light. So it could be that, or even give you a lens. I don't know. It actually circuit popular, high chance of coming out again, but not very sure what will be it. It could be potential meter, variable resistor, or even input transducer. I cannot pinpoint exactly. But again, the concept will be the same. Uh, if you have done enough practical, those were the types that will be quite similar. And the source of error will be quite similar also. I think I have a video just on physics practical in one of my uh, video. You can go and check out yourself. Uh, paper three, likely to have either three practical tasks and one planning or two practical plus one planning. If it's three practical, then it will be a short one. Two will be long, meaning a lot of questions. And it may take a long time to complete each practical task. For the planning question on physics, right, it's important to note that likely that this planning question is related to the practical you did. And they are doing some modification to, you need to change your variable and you need to know your y and x variable. And from there, you can determine your gradient, your y intercept to obtain the, the values, et cetera. Okay, so I hope uh, this will be helpful for you in your preparation for physics paper. Don't worry, if you are prepared well enough, you will do well. So good luck to you. And that's it. Thank you.